Okay. Here we go, boys. Getting into things here. Karu versus Jinj. Karu on the Viola. Yeah, I think they've been playing like mostly Viola lately, I'd say. But Jinj, the Diddy, as always, ever faithful to his boy. Oh, the forward smash very close to connecting there. Swinging his knuckles. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think uh, it was good because we saw um, Karo save the jump there for the recovery. Yeah, save the jump with Violet if you can. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I know you're a bit of a Violet aficionado. Ooh. Catches the nut midair. Does he not know what month we're in? Oh, tried to grab it out of shield. Rocky mistake, but thankfully didn't drop it enough for the explosion to hit him, so. This is so close so far, I don't know who's going to take this first stop. Yeah, I'm wondering next to I'm like, okay, someone's hitting each other, someone's missing. Just uh, all the way of <laughs> interactions you yeah. can expect from first game of the tournament. I, that was the classic there, like everyone knows about the Diddy. The, the, let's call it the Diddy triangle of, yes I have banana, are you going to jump and get hit? Or are you going to shield the banana and get side beat? <laughs> you have no winning move. Um, and yeah, in that instance, Jinj went for the side beat. I think the ledge really kind of shows just how bad it is because you can't even back up at the ledge, but oh my god, Jinj just racked up 100% already. It's especially powerful of the ledge, and, and it won't kill anywhere else, so that's just as well. Yeah. Ooh, retreating back. Jinj is mixing. Jinj is playing crazy right now. If you're Charlie, you're like, like, how do you find an opening? This man is going crazy. Like, in recent weeks, I think the thing that's really improved with Jinj is 1, not SD, and 2, his movement has just been so much more tricky. That's true. Really but in that way where, you know, when you, when you really need him to Oh be my close. god, is that it? Oh, oh my god, and a 3 stock. Holy smoke. on deck. Always in the bank, you know. Uh, we fit the classic. Yeah, we actually do have another Wii Fit trainer here as well in B Little. Very, very good Wii Fit trainer. Oh, going for the kick. Karu gonna call it out this time. Karu's the one with the lead so far. Let's see how they can extend this. And extending it is what they definitely are going to need to do. I've just noticed the scoreboard. Extending the lead is by a thing. Once by a can start walling, especially at the ledge, well, against Diddy, you have to be at the ledge because Banana just straight yeah, through definitely. all the aerials. Banana goes at such a nice arc, too, and Diddy actually has two different arcs that he can send the Banana at. Yeah, he's got his Smash Bell and his regular throw. Yeah. Like, um, both of them go over Pikachu, of course, but they're, <laughs> they're, they're very useful nonetheless. Yeah. I mean, everything goes over Pikachu. Yeah. You'd hope your entire neutral didn't go over Pikachu. Oh, okay. Really good from Karu to not do the immediate tether and slightly delay it. Because if yeah. he immediately tethered, it wouldn't have snapped the ledge, it would have gone over, and then that would have been it. I mean, maybe yeah. in Violet's case, it would have got the stage, but... Well, if it went over, Violet probably could have got beat again, but you, you don't want to have to deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> Karu this time taking the lead. Oh my god. Um, parry by Lefnair correctly challenged. Jin just passed it. It's impossible. Very tricky with all the fast full timings that Pilot can mix it up with. Yeah, it's mainly because of that landing hit. It always seems to come an entire year after the main hit. 
but still fast enough for you to not do anything out of your parry. Okay, Jinj once again uh, let Charlie have the life lead this game, but Shannon Jewel can have the back. <laughs> Byleth with the bananas, kind of a scary thorn considering that forward smash that Byleth has. I mean, the other smash decks are strong too, but the forward smash especially. Yeah, the forward smash reaches so far, you can do it Yeah, so many like, different terms. Like, it feels like the forward smash is about the length of how far Byleth throws banana, so you throw it and just start yeah. charging immediately. You don't need to start running. Oh, oh my lord. I saw that get up attack and the fear was putting me, I'm not this gonna is, lie. This little monkey legs. Yeah. Almost extended all the way. Oh, but there we go, another forward smash coming out from Ginger this time. He's almost taking it. Little slap. Little slap. Little slap. They call him Little Slap. <laughs> little Slappy, our favorite monkey. <laughs> Good spacing oh, on these forward airs from Karu. So close now. I like that tomahawk grab coming out as well, and that dash attack will take it. It's a very nice catch, even if you air dodge. Decent active frames on the dash attack. Yeah, Always very good. Oh, the nut! I mean... Okay, the kick. Oh, the ledge cancel <laughs> from Ginge. And then he did the phantom footstool just to uh, get the <laughs> extra out away. Out yeah, <laughs> he's like, you are not punishing this, sir. <laughs> the little, little, little teeter is to get that Yeah. Away. But Karu's starting to more and more get a handle on what Jin just picking in these defensive situations. That's a, a few successful tech chases in a row there. That will be the stocks being evened up from Jin, but Karu's definitely starting to figure some things out. Karu's been, been getting in the meter in the second stage, but at the ledge has been notably having some problems. Yeah, Jin just using barrels in so many creative ways so far this set. It just puts the fear in me because the amount of times I've seen Jin go for something like that and just barrel off stage. So let's just hope that doesn't happen. Creativity can be a curse when it comes to Diddy Kong's barrels. Oh. It certainly can. Oh, and just as you were saying, going for the creative option, and Karu but taking the stop. Here we go boys, town and city for game number three. Sticking with the same characters as expected. Okay. Oh, I, thought we, I mean, Jinj did the input for another dash tag there, he just happened to be holding Banana. That was nearly three in a row. It's very hard to predict how this one might go. That's like the fourth time Jinj just got that read off the dash tag. <laughs> Dash tag's free to be the kill. It is, it is. It's such a good move. Because Jinj has. Uh, not Jinj, I mean, Jinj is basically Diddy at this point, but Jinj has follow ups off him at pretty much every set. There's the nice walling of the back there. Just past him staying just outside of Diddy's drift for that moment. Oh, he, he, you know, he wanted to drop it past the ledge there, but accidentally pulled him forward a little bit whilst he did that. Look at that mole dude in the background, his nose is so long. Don't say that. <laughs> he doesn't want to be pointed out. Ginge, keeping the life lead. There's no oh my god if that forward smash connected. I don't think it would have killed, it would have been weak, but... The maybe, pullback maybe. on that is something to be reckoned with. Yeah, for sure. Now, we're getting up banana kill confirmed percent. But also, Byleth, Byleth has the means to kill at this percent as well. Yeah, Byleth absolutely. Uh, that's kind of what MK Leo's been making his bread off lately, is that he's so good at getting those reads to grab those big moves, that he's just consistently killing people at like, whatever percent he wants. Yeah. 
Ooh, and that tether can just sort of zip straight past banana yeah. if it's at the fastest point of it. So for sure. Ginch might be better than saving his banana for a long stage. Also, I noticed like the shield pressure from Ginch in the corner there was crazy, and he ended off with barrels, so he was getting drifting away. So he wasn't even going to get in That is going to be the shield there. He was frames from getting that stuff. He was, he really <laughs> was. Landing with back here, landing in there, not gonna, not gonna get the hit just yet, but Carl is definitely knocking on the door of Jin just first stop so far. Whoa, did he come too short to get hit by the longest uh, S match out of the banana? I'll, I'll tell you this, he definitely isn't big like Rob. Going to work with <laughs> Violet is doing some kind of shuffle on the ledge there. <laughs> the fucking scramble that went on. Okay, yeah, and there we go. Kari takes his stop. Stop wise at the very least. Some nice patience from Kari, taking a bit of an advantage of, you know, that thing people do. They get a nice a nice stock, a few hits, and then they start approaching. Yeah. Non-stop. It's just what you want to do, you want to keep that momentum that you've got going, you want to take stops. And everyone knows the best way to do that is forward and A. Yeah, but if the opponent's composed, they can definitely backfire. Look at this man! He's actually doing the whole Diddy holding banana is terrifying. <laughs> he goes for forward, gets the full pop by the Tried to go for a round two, but Carl lies to spot dodging. Ooh, that was very nice. Turned the stepped back, turned around up B just to yeah. get that punish. Really nice from that one, Carl. That was a risky up back on that one. He's not going to be punished, but he will just wipe off Carl's stock soon because I'm worried he's going to start losing his any second now. Being alive for a longer is going to be. It's. Well, not taking the stock for a long time is one of Diddy's strong ones. Yeah. We've got Diddy reaching for the stars and Carl going up there with his hand. Okay, he looks back in now from Byron. Space in his back is nicely. A charge in that off smash, yeah. Ginch giving him the tail. Oh, oh. No, uh, this is medium Manzac from the mic. Big Manzac appears on Thursdays. Oh, the up smash coming out. Karu evening things up. Ginch got his patented ledge cancel side beat, but did it right into the final up smash. Oh, it's so easy. The advantage oh for Jins. Yeah. He's saying, I'm taking that lead back that you've taken from me, Karu. I worked hard for that. Just running on the shield with Banana, knowing Carl is not going to be back in the town of City. That's it. That's going to be it. And game three victory going to the